Hey guys, welcome back to Finland, where we are continuing our preparation to be slaughtered by the Soviets. You know what? I'm going to put this series up even if I start to fail. <laughs> it's going to be hilarious if I do. You guys can all watch and laugh with me. So yeah. Some airbase, anti-air bases will be good. Starting to get some army experience in. 17% world tension. Bum 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 bum. Yeah. Okay. We want to get some more units in production, but we can't do that until we change fascist assault on division form aha we've become fascist look at that greater finland Whoa. we can actually uh... we've actually gained a lot of manpower out of that um... but we need actually to i'm gonna so switch up our uh, manpower policy try and get some units in production we can start um... Oh, build up on the japanese border Japan declared war on China. Okay. Got more military factories. Got construction effort three. Um, yeah, I'm going to use that to change up. Um, first of all, actually, let's change up what you guys are. Let's turn you to all to infantry. The standard infantry. Okay. So that's going to be like all of our manpower gone again. But. Um, switch you. Don't change them to cavalry. That would be stupid. Stupido. Oh, accidentally missed one. They can spit in the eyes of fools. I've got David Bowie stuck in my head. I've been re-watching the uh, British TV series Life on Mars. Rule Britannia is out of bounds. To me and my dog, I'm a clown. Yeah. You gotta put this two down here next to Leningrad. I'm actually gonna change up the lines a little bit. Um, edit mode. You guys going to over this side of the Great Lake thing, and then these two are gonna get their front line to be. There to there. There we go. And their commander is going to be this guy. Hmm. Grand battle plan. Lovely. Going to get the prepared defenses underway as well. Toad anti-tank almost finished. Which, look at that. Tis a thing of beauty. Um, mm, got mountaineering troops underway. Hmm, do we need MPs? Not really. Do we need more doctrine? Go for anti-tank upgrades? No. We don't even have destroyers right now. Or transports. Let's go for submarines. Second load of submarines. Let's get them building. Okay. So yeah, we're, we're basically only going to be focusing on defending until the Winter War is over. I think. 
think that's probably the best way to do it. I hope. I really bloody hope. Um, yes, we were going to upgrade our... Go to extensive conscription and get some troops underway. I'm not going to do that just yet, actually, because I, I, I want our troops to be mountaineers. We got the first sub, though. Is that our first sub built? Can't remember. But yes, we can merge them at sea now, which is nice. Yeah, no, I'm waiting for mountaineers. I'll be with you soon. Gonna train me up some elite mountaineers. My elite mountaineer commandos. 56 days. Okay. Hmm. Excavation, better industry. Oh, let's get better machining tools. Let's do that. The 1937 machining tools we haven't got. Cool, that's all the construction and stuff done, which is lovely. Let's go for army effort. Yeah. Note to self, no invading before the winter war is up. Can spit in the eyes of fools As they ask her to oh, focus on sailors fighting in the dance hall. Let's put our oil refinery over there. On Ayland. Is it Ayland? Don't know. Well sinky. Worth 15 victory points. It's the only visible city in the entirety of Finland. <laughs> oh no, there's one there. It's three victory points as well. I wonder if we'll have those AA emplacement things done. I might push one of them up the list. Push them up the list, get them done. Because I'm worried about having a load of Soviet air support above me. Okay, mountaineering infantry is done. Let's go for better support weapons. And let's get some... Let's edit this. They're going to be elite. Yes. Um... They... Train, add unit, add unit, add unit, go for five of them, just train flat, we'll do flat five of them, in there. Go! Okay, industrial concern will be good. And again, upping our Economy to early mobilization could be good as well. Anschluss of Austria, as we get army effort. Um, doctrine effort. Equipment effort. Let's go doctrine effort, really get our, hammer down our doctrines. Okay. Modify our government again. Let's get this. Ge we could get this genius guy. No, we want to. We want to do early mobilization. Is it partial? Is the first one? No, partial. But a partial mobilization. Let's keep this going. Hey, look, we've got lots of army experience. Let us uh, edit this. Uh, do we want to edit our... Let's, no, let's, let's edit our flight infantry to go with support. And the 
tank first. Let's give them some support anti-tank and get the anti-tank in production. I'm scared about Russian tanks, so let's deal with them. Um, and use that to build anti-tank. Yeah. Get our guys fitted out and kitted out properly. We just need so much more production efficiency. Uh, is it production efficiency? I'm not planning on joining the Allies because I don't want the Germans to outright join this war. Because... Um, otherwise I think I'd have to push them all the way to capitulation. Whereas I think a special event might fire in the Winter War, if it's just us. I'm going to actually get some facts about, about the Winter War up on another tab while we wait. And as things sort themselves out. Yeah, see, look, there's there's German, ta uh, German, Soviet tank brigades up here that we want to sort e sorty outy. Let's uh really ramp up our um. We're making one a week, so it'll take us 400 weeks currently to outfit all of our tanks, anti tanks. Ugh. Scary. We also want to give these guys uh, an engineer corps. Make sure they can defend nice and easy. Why it's easy, easy like Sunday morning. Let's go to better factories. Doctrine effort, lovely. Let's go naval effort, shall we? Oh, sounds like there's a low flying plane overhead. Oh, interesting. Let's edit those, give them engineer corps. Done, save. And better subs. Nice. Let's go with the... get the 1936 landing transport ship things. And go... Nave... where's it? Uh, is it naval production? You're almost done that. Just do one and then create me submarine twos. Full of Nanjing. Okay. So I'm going to have all my elite soldiers on this southern area here, I think. Because this is actually mountainous region up here. No, it's all plains. Marsh. Yeah. See, so we're going to need the mountaineers for invading Norway. So I thought I'd get them now and have them as, like, my elite soldiers. There we are. There's that. There is that sub. So let's get this sub group going. We're going to absolutely be destroyed by port strikes if we can't get those anti-air built, though. Oh, we've built them. Well, that's good. So if I go to the air map mode, how do I how do I look at my anti-air guns? There is a way. I'm pretty sure there's a way, isn't there? Where there's a will, there's a way. One been built there. Hasn't been built any there. Oh, that's the one that's being built. Which? Undo that. I want another one there. If we can. Um. Modify the government. Industrial research time. Get that nice and down. Okay, there's more Russians on my front. La da 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 da. Lots more Russians appearing on my front. Uh -uh. Scary shit. <laughs> really scary shit. Uh, there's the better support weapons. 
Now let's get better infantry weapons. Let's see the Russians try to beat me. Okay, they're all about to deploy. Hello! Get them all into position. Right, let's train just a load of normal infantry. Right, let's get ten. I didn't set them a location. I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> in a bit. Prepared defenses. Grand assault. Is there anything here that else that does? Fine, let's just go get ground assault, shall we? Naval effort gives us a free naval dockyard, which I'm not actually going to put... Oh, wow, well, we've got a lot of naval dockyards actually out of that, so let's put two on them, and let's put two on heavy cruisers. Get some better heavy cruisers out, and let's go... Doctrine effort again. Keep, uh, let's rush the Doctrine effort, really push out the Doctrine, get as many bonuses as we can. Bonuses this is. Okay, we need a lot, a lot of uh, Toad Anti-Tank right now. Hey Germany, want to give me loads of your stuff? Really wish that was been implemented. That like you could ask for lend lease. Asking for lend lease would make this game so much like more intuitive. For the amount of times, say Britain was asked asked America for lend lease and America went no, it still was an option for them. It's not like it wasn't even an option. It's like no, it's illegal to ask for lend lease. Average division strength is quite high for the old Soviets. Um, I kind of just want to delete that line. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, do we want to add artillery in or do we want to add um, something else like a uh, recon companies? things and such so edit because we do have recon companies unlocked defense yeah let's go with a recon company in the just the standard divisions we need a lot more support equipment now don't we um, production support equipment yeah holy hell Material designer, army research. Let's get the genius. This genius. Whoa, all oh, my manpower just went. We just put 54,000 troops in the recon cause. Uh, so I'll take a few lines of deployment off. Did that seriously all just go into recon companies? Oh, well, that's scary. Um, the transport ship has been done. Cool. Um, <laughs> let's get maybe better heavy cruisers, maybe some light cruisers, battle cruisers. Let's get a battleship research. First finished battleship. Make that a thing. Okay. Drawing ever closer now to the war with the, the Soviets. And I just don't think I've got enough troops on the field. You know? Oh well, we'll see.
He is hoping. So we're filled up on guns, so let's put more into support weapons research. Eee, better industry. Get, um, better excavation. Okay, October 1938. It's coming. It's a coming. It'll happen in the next episode, it seems. Thank you all so much for watching yet another episode of Fascist Finland. We haven't done anything really fascist yet. Only declared ourselves a fascist country, gave ourselves a new flag. But, um, yeah, it's because the Red Menace is, like, right next to us. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Ah, don't forget to subscribe. Who knows, you might find something else on the channel you like.